In many places around the world, access to safe, clean water is a luxury. More than 2 billion people live in areas with very little water. Imagine how much they treasure and conserve the water that they have. We use water for everything. To drink, to grow food, to produce power, to cook, to clean, to splash around in. Without water, we couldn't exist. We're not the only ones that need it. Animals and ecosystems need water to survive, too. Life depends on water cycling through the environment, which falls into above ground rivers and lakes, and also huge aquifers, which serve as water reservoirs. Around the world, our population is growing, and so is our need for fresh water. But the natural water cycle may not be able to keep up with our growing needs. Did you know that 20% of our water for agriculture and drinking comes from below the Earth's surface? In some cases, these aquifers have been storing and collecting water for thousands of years. The problem is that we are using this groundwater much faster than it can be replaced. It is estimated that the groundwater reserves in the California Central Valley will run out in the next 60 to 100 years. And loss of groundwater literally affects the ground. Satellite images have detected that land in the Central Valley and Sierra Nevada mountain ranges are sinking. Businesses and manufacturers use 20% of our water. Think of factories creating paper, or raw materials like oil and metal. And the largest use of water is agriculture. Crop irrigation uses a whopping 70% of our fresh water. That's fresh fruit and vegetables for us to eat, not to mention chickens, cows, and pigs too. Many irrigation systems are inefficient. In fact, if we simply improve how we water our crops, we can save enough water for 1.4 billion people and still be able to grow the crops that we need. Why are we wasting water? We can't blame everything on agriculture. Water in our homes is often wasted. Leaky pipes, inefficient toilets, and thirsty yards is where most of our household water goes. We should all conserve this resource. Some products are already in the works, others are in the making, and some are just waiting to be invented by teams like you and me. So let's put our heads together. Let's make sure we have enough water to drink, use, and share well into our future.